I just installed or upgraded my UBA to 2.7 and found very many good features that I want to share with you. The first is uh, well, we got detection of some indicators of compromise for Lockheed when I cried and shelled uh, bags uh, to contribute to UBA. This one is actually very significant. On the categories that we have for uh, UBA, we now can detect not just from blue code, but categories from uh, WebSense and, and, and several other uh, proxies logs and then the fact that somebody goes into a phishing website for example will increase his uh, risk. It's also an interface with the new DNS analysis application so if somebody's going to a squatting domain one that looks like Amazon but it's not really Amazon a few letters change or somebody is going into domains that are clearly identified as uh, domain, ge do domain generated algorithm those that are typically of bad behavior or they are uh, part of a blacklisted domain, boom, they add into the risk of the user. The good Sysmon rules also contribute to the, the user behavior risk score as well as detecting a great deal of new scanning features. So lots of intelligence so if we go into offenses rules and list for UBA, we now have even more rules, more logic actually adding risk to users that are doing things risky. In my demo system, I like to keep everything enabled. Make sure that you know when you install any one of these packages that you go and make sure that the rules are actually uh, enable right in fact I, I still need to do a couple of those enablements in here I haven't enabled them all but go there and, and the ones that I keep normally uh, disabled are these uh, abnormal uh, ones uh, but the rest I keep them updated I have my UBA by the way installed in an app node I don't have machine learning uh, working because I don't have enough time to leave my system at home to uh, track and get baseline from machine learning. And, and just as a reminder, any any rule that we actually have on the UBA category, you know, here is the detection. This one is detecting some IOC, some lucky. If we go to the next page, we see that this offense does not, that this rule does not uh, fire as an offense. All it does is uh, launch an event name and add a risk value, in this particular case of 10, to whoever user uh, got this type of indicator. So, and, and you can also go and, and change the sense value if you want to uh, increase the, uh, the risk of the user in, in any larger way. But these are not going to be firing offenses, except, of course, when somebody uh, passes the threshold defining the app for uh, for example in this particular case this uh, user crossed a threshold uh, and then when that happened then an offense fire and that invites you to go into user analytics and look for that particular user now other features that I found very interesting if we are looking for a particular user let's see in this uh, Catherine and as you probably remember in previous uh, releases this new feature in which you can go into the timeline and find out you know what was she actually doing in this particular peak of time you actually get to see all those events so that gives you a, a, a better indication of what the person was doing but also here under the advanced section advanced actions rather we had as before at custom alert, white listing of the user, watch list, uh, but now we have this generate GDPR compliant report. So for people who with customers in the UK, in the EU, you can actually click here and this will generate a JSON file that contains all the stuff that we know about the individual. That's one requirement for uh, 
uh, GDPR. But also you can go ahead and say, well, I'm going to delete uh, Catherine. And notice that it's telling you that Catherine name is going to be added into the UBA users not track and all the data uh, that we have until now from Catherine is going to be actually deleted. I'm not going to click uh, there. But if you do that, then the, you, the all the data that, that, that the system has about the user gets banished. And that's one requirement of the GDPR as well. And no new information is actually tracked by virtue of having her name. I'm actually going to the reference that there should be a UBA, as the message was indicating. If we look for UBA here, there should be one for users tracked or actually not tracked. Here it is users not tracked. So whoever you put in, in by clicking there, the data is deleted, the name of the person gets added, and you can actually go ahead and, you know, if you change your mind, you can actually put the person back. The data that was collected before was gone. You can also import a group of users uh, uh, that you don't want to track, or even via a, the API, you can fill this out. So it's very nice to make sure that the UBA tool gets compliant with uh, GDPR. And, and this is different from whitelisting. If you whitelist a user, the, the, the tool is still tracking information, but it's not adding risk. It's not, you know, it's not going to be flagged, but the data is captured. When you put it into the uh, GDPR category, then no data about that user is tracked. Two new features. One, I'm going to leave the best one for the end, but uh, this one that says start investigation is kind of a, looks like a small workflow for assigning to whoever is the user. In this particular case, I only have one user in my demo system with admin. So, so this uh, Catherine is now assigned to kind of to me for investigation. And I believe that this is uh, for one hour. There's actually, I believe that this is a parameter for this. So if I look into active investigation, I'm investigating Catherine, so you know, leave leave it alone. Or I, I just wanna check what she's doing so no no one else uh, needs to worry about that. And if we go into the admin tab, I believe that I saw a parameter on the UBA. UBA settings. Yeah, and this is the duration of the investigation. So, so for 24 hours for a full day, I'm going to be investigating Carrie. You can actually change that in here as well. Now, the feature that I really like the most is actually let's go back and look for Catherine. Is this one? If you have Watson installed, you can actually investigate what Catherine has done. So, so this is a way of saying, well, Watson, what do you know about the sites that Catherine has gone, the activity, depending on what properties you send for, to, to Watson for investigation? What are the things that, instead of coming from an offense, I just want you to look on everything on Catherine and then go back into my system and see whether there are uh, information related that uh, will get me to know more about Catherine and whoever else has been hit uh, by that. And I did an investigation already on Catherine and it's actually very cool. So as usual, you get here in gray, the URLs that uh, Catherine actually went. And in here we see that this particular URL that we have here, let me actually zoom in from this point, in blue, again, is a stuff that Watson knows about, that it wasn't part of the information that we sent to it. We see more of that activity in blue here. We see that this particular IP that Catherine was using actually has all these indicators of compromise, and you can go into any one of these and, and see why do you think that, that this is actually bad, and you get the explanations there. And this is... Uh, as we don't know Watson. But in, notice that in here, 
it actually finds that that IP and these websites are also being related to all these folks in my demo system. So this might be something that you may want to actually put into a reference set, export it into a CSV value or put into a reference set or stick and taxi feed, whatever you want to do to actually investigate this. So very interesting the way that now UBA works together with Watson. Now this tool is getting better and the thing I like the most is it's actually com comes at no extra cost uh, for uh, curator users. This doesn't add into your EPSs or anything like that. It's something that uh, if you haven't started using I would recommend you to launch your app node. Uh, there, there is a video that I created on how you um, migrate uh, uh, your apps into the app node and start uh, enjoying and discovering things that your users are doing with this UBA app.